sigh of silence pushes through the concrete veil, and a leaf peeks out. I'm the messenger, he says. So, Minister, thank you so much for, for joining me in the forest here this afternoon. This is a beautiful place. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> close to, to Helsinki. Can you tell me what what forests mean to you? What do you feel when you're in a place like this? Well, I, I feel like being at home when I'm in the forest, especially like forests like this, the, the like old forest mm -hmm. uh, and diverse forest. Yes. Here we have an asp, which is like the main species in the forest, yes. if you uh, think about the biodiversity. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really happy to be here with you. Fantastic. What do you call these in Finnish? What's the name? Harpa. Harpa. I think Harpa. I learned that yes. word. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I keep being taught new Finnish words and then, uh, <laughs> yeah. and then forgetting them. And uh, I guess as a Finn that you probably spend quite a lot of time outdoors in, in, in nature. Yeah. What, in what do you like to do? Yes, in nature and in the forest. Uh, well, like I said, the forest is one of like my, my um, most liked mm -hmm. nature places. Mm -hmm. But also I enjoy being on the lake or, or near the lake. So like most of the things, I, mm -hmm. I also enjoy uh, the having my own summer cottage and being there during the weekends. And, and then we can go to forest, uh, pick the berries and mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Actually, this autumn has been very good mushroom year. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what, what are the ingredients for a good mushroom year? Does, are there, are there environmental factors that make some years better for uh, mushrooms? Yes, I, actually uh, this year it was so hot that we thought that we are going to lose all the mushrooms. Yes, yeah. But then just, um, in the late summer we had uh, uh, enough rain mm -hmm. and still quite warm, which means that there's, there's, there were a lot of mushrooms, especially kutatti, mm -hmm. which is like the, the yeah, they kutatti. said that that's the best mushroom. But I mean, of course, there's uh, so many good mushrooms yes. and you can just choose which ones you, you want to pick yep. and pick the ones that you can eat, of course, not the poison ones. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, yeah, tr always try to avoid the poisonous well, yeah. ones. <laughs> so, I do admire the way that so many Finns know all about their mushrooms and their and their berries. This is not something which British mm. children grow up knowing about. Yeah, but. yeah, I, I think that's very Finnish uh, thing. And of course, we, because we have this uh, every layman's rights that mm -hmm. you can go to the forest and pick up the mushrooms and, and berries, even, it's, even if it's not your own forest. So that's yeah. something which is very unique. And, and I think that's one reason why people, Finnish people go to forest so much, because they know that it's, it's yeah. for everything. Yep. Of course, we have a lot of nice national parks and, and other uh, protected areas, which are very important and good places to go. But uh, also like this um, nature just nearby is very important yes. for the people. And we have a county that it's only 700 meters from any Finn's home, you can wow. find this your nearest piece of nature. Wow. And those are very important uh, for the Finnish people that you can just go during the busy week. If, uh, after the working days, you can just go to the forest and yes. enjoy it. Yep. And I go into the park behind the embassy and, yeah. and walk there. So it's 700 meters is it's yeah. probably about right. And one of the other guests I was talking to taught me the word, the Finnish word, lahiluonto. Yes, that's exactly the word. So that is, that. Yeah, that is exactly. Yeah. So the, but the, of course, it can be also not only the forest, but someone wants to go on the coast uh, near to the sea yeah. or on the cliffs and yes. other Just places. Whatever yeah. is, is yeah. around. And I guess people feel a, a sort of personal attachment to their yeah. own close, close area of nature. So, yeah. so I understand that you have been very active about environmental issues since you were a child. Yes. Yeah. yeah well, uh, uh, as a child, I, I used to be um, in uh, girl guides. Right. So I, I was very active in, in there and, and we had this, um, we went to the forest and also overnight there and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then during my, my high school years, I I got very worried what's happening mm -hmm. in the nature. Yes. At that time, there was a um, big question of the acid rains and right. what, what yes, they are I doing remember. for the yes. forest. Yeah. And that was like thing that really woke me up mm -hmm. to um, take care of the nature. So I, I joined many of uh, the nature uh, conversation NGOs and, mm -hmm. and I was also active at school. And mm -hmm. then I, 
actually that was the reason also why I went to uh, and started to study biology. Right. So I'm a biologist yes. as an education and yeah. of course that also makes me closer to the nature because I, I know so much. Of about course, what's, you understand what's, it. Yeah, what's, yes. what's going on. Yep. Yeah. I guess you understand the benefits and some of the dangers as well. Yes, if you've, uh, yes. If you've studied it. Yes, yes. I, I'm very happy that now I can work for the, the uh, to, well, to tackle the climate change, mm -hmm. which is now, I mean, that's something, of course, already in the 90s, there was a um, talk about the, the changing yeah. climate and, and warming cli climate, but uh, and also the, the question of the biodiversity loss mm -hmm. was already on the table then. But yeah. of course, nowadays it's, it's just more and more uh, urgent yes. to make sure that we, we can tackle th those yes. crises. Yeah. So we talked about what nature means to you as a person. Can you tell us a little bit what it means as, as a minister? Because I mean, you're, this must be um, not this here, but, mm. but in general, this this must be a very large part of your responsibilities and the yes. things that you think about. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I I try to solve these two crises, the climate crisis and nature loss, in my everyday life. Yes. And of course, it means that uh, when we are doing the legislation, when we are talking about the budget, uh, we need to we try to get. Uh, make those kind of um, um, decisions which help us to protect nature and and also make that kind of legislation that whatever people are doing, uh, whatever activities uh, we are having, we need to take care of the nature. Do you have to work hard to persuade your your fellow ministers of the importance of this work or does everybody understand it? Sometimes I, I really need to work hard. Mm -hmm. I think in, in like a in general way, everybody understands that. Yeah. And of course, our government program is, is very uh, uh, um, ambitious about the, yeah. the, uh, about the climate crisis and the biodiversity mm -hmm. questions. But then when we go to the everyday life and then we, when we are really making those decisions and, and and the legislation in other ministries, yes. then we really need to need to remind them that we need to have this aspect of the nature and the, the aspect of the climate yep. there as well. Yep. And I guess that's one of the main challenges, isn't it? The mm. environment and climate change is not just for your ministry. Yeah. yeah. It is for yeah. for everybody. Yeah. Actually, it's, um, it's more in other ministries yes. than in, in the environmental ministries, yes. because then we are talking about the energy policy, mm -hmm. the, the forestry policy, yes. yeah. the uh, transport mm -hmm. and and um, and all the others. So uh, industries. So it's it's yes. just a small part in in the environment and ministries. It's yes. more in in the other ministries. Yes. And do you have any tricks, any ways of persuading <laughs> them to to remember that this is important? Uh, yes. Um, I, I, I try to tell them and remind them what we have decided, what are our, our common targets. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, Finland being a, a climate neutral by 2035, yes. it means that we need to make a work on every sector and in, on every sector we need to uh, reduce the emissions. Mm -hmm. But it's also, I, I'm very happy that uh, it's not only me, it's like a, this um, a common discussion what's mm -hmm. going on now in yes. Finland and everywhere in the world this question of the climate crisis and question of the biodiversity mm -hmm. is very loud at the moment. And yeah. especially the, the young people have mm -hmm. been very loud. Yes. And, and I think that's very good because that helps my work as well. Yes. Yep. No, no, no. I think it's really important. The young people actually are showing us the way and helping yeah. us to, uh, to, and you know, it's their world, it's their future. So, yeah, so exactly. it's, it's really, really important. Yeah. And, um, it's it's good to have a system where where the young people are showing us we're not yeah. telling them. Yeah, even though we know that the science has been telling us it for a long time, but yes. we just haven't listened. So yep. now these young people need to come here and tell and us, tell us yes. for adults yep. that hey, why you yep. are not well, listening yes. to science and you yep. need to do it because it's their future, like yep. you said. I guess it doesn't matter where the where the message comes from. Yeah. What matters yeah. is uh, that uh, we yeah. we hear it and yeah. we and we act on it. But I mean, Finland has a fantastic reputation in, in leading the world on climate issues, on environment issues. Um, we have, you already have some, some quite ambitious targets. Mm. What more can you do? What's next on the agenda? 
Um, I think the most important is now that we have an ambitious target, but now we need to make it real. Yes. Which means that yep. we really need to make action on all, every sector. So I, I think it seems that uh, when, we, we, when we set the target, we, we were, of course, all of us in the government and, and the whole society was very um, a committed yes. to it. Yeah. But now we really need to understand what it means and with the every deci decision we need to think, okay, how this, uh, how, how this um, effect on, on climate policy yeah. and what yeah. we need to do. And, and we are doing that, but I think that we should like to do just more <laughs> because yeah. we know that the climate is not waiting. We just got a new report uh, from the IPCC yeah. telling us that we really need to hurry. Uh, and actually, I, I must say that I'm very impressed also what UK is doing because you are really doing a lot for the we climate are policy. We driving as, as, towards yes, the, yes, uh, and the Glasgow I'm very summit. Happy for that, and I just uh, think that we we really need to work together more. And and also now when yep. the COP is coming yes. in, in Glasgow, that's a very important uh, moment. Yep. Yep, I agree. And COP has been a big impetus, I think, for mm. for us. To yeah to move forward and to lead and we're trying to make sure that it's more than just a moment mm. so we're asking countries to be ambitious as we go into cop yeah and to be more and more and more ambitious <laughs> um but i think the real test will come afterwards as you yeah. say we then need to do yeah. what we have said we will yeah. do and what we have promised and maybe just as importantly we need to help other people to you know the countries which are not finland or not the uk yeah to uh, to adapt and to yeah. to really yeah you know, we need to make it easy for people to yeah to, to get on board this decision rather than something which are, they're being told to do from a long way away by people who maybe don't understand so well so yeah so I think this is you know th this is just the beginning of the challenge maybe it's the end of the beginning but it's definitely yeah. not the <laughs> yeah. not the beginning yeah. of the end yeah we are not there yet we're we're, we're yeah. absolutely <laughs> not there yet no. Yeah. Are you optimistic? Well, there's a days when when I'm more optimistic, and then the days when I, I'm not mm -hmm. so optimistic. Yep. But well, I must say that um, for for example, in Finland, when when our government started and we uh, set this target 2035 to be climate neutral, uh, I have been very happy to see how the whole society has committed this target. It's not only the government, it's yeah. the municipalities, mm -hmm. which are very active. Actually, many municipalities have more ambitious target as mm -hmm. we have uh, as, a, as a country. And then there's a lot of uh, business mm -hmm. which are doing a lot. There's uh, industry. And for example, we make this kind of uh, low carbon maps with our industries. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to do it with uh, four sectors, the, the uh, sectors which are, has them, uh, 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 what are what are the most important? The, the technology, energy, uh, forestry, and chemistry. Mm -hmm. But it turned out that all the other sectors say that hey, we want, we to, want, do we want to do it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Low carbon. But that's good. Uh, that's a nice well. problem yeah. to have. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then I think they were together sixteen different sectors wow. who made their own own um, wow. uh, roadmaps. And now that was the last uh, last summer year ago. And now they have already noticed that say maps are getting old so because yes. they have been able to yes. do so much and also for example for the energy sector especially yes. the, there's so much happening and faster mm -hmm. than they thought so now they really need to think yes. that oh we need to update our our, yeah. our 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 maps so that's that's very encouraging that is a well it's a it is a really good problem to have that yeah. <laughs> things are more people want to be involved and we're moving faster yeah. than you thought you know it's 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 good yeah so how do we sustain the momentum how do we keep i think you know the world is having a moment right Ooh. now as you said where we're all waking up and saying oh this is this is important are, are there is there anything that we should all be doing and we could be doing now to make sure that this stays in the in the headlines yeah that's a that's a very good question and especially now when we are going to the cop it's um we really need to find ways how we can keep this momentum mm -hmm. and, and, and get uh, the world understanding that yes. we now really need the action. I'm happy that after this, um, this IPCC report in autumn, uh, 
at least at Finnish media, there has been uh, uh, the question or discussion about the climate change going okay. on yes. all the way. Yep. Even, I mean, it has been louder in some, some weeks and, and no, not yeah, so course. loud in yes. others, but it's still there. It's still there. Yeah. And now also the, um, the uh, question of adaptation mm -hmm. has, uh, yes. has uh, grown. Yeah. And, and that's very important as yeah. well. And I think, of course, after this, this uh, summer, when we, we uh, have seen all these uh, consequences of the climate uh, uh, change in these forest fires, these floods. 30 in degrees Europe, in Lapland. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's now getting closer to our everyday lives. So we yes. kind of understand better. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one thing that it helps us to, to also to act yes. more. And, and I guess this, all of this is going to need investment, is it? It needs mm. financial investment, but it also needs human investment yeah. in there. So maybe is one of those easier than the other? Well, at the moment, uh, we have a momentum for that uh, also, because now we have this, this big recovery mm -hmm. uh, package uh, in EU. Yes. And, and we in Finland decided to use uh, half of the package for the green transition. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's now we have... Uh, that helps us to really now make this this big move yes. and big uh, yeah. transition and that's very important and and also so we kind of have more money than we maybe thought earlier mm -hmm. and and also um we know that if we if we look at the investments in investors in the world the money is now going to the green solutions yeah. so that that's yeah. good but then at the same time, like you said, that we really need to have this mental <laughs> change as well. Yes. And, um, and I hope uh, when, um, of course, always when there's a change, uh, there's a people who are saying that I don't want to change. I just yes. want to continue yep. my but life. As, of course, <laughs> as, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Being, change is frightening. Yeah, but yeah. now we, when we have understood that if you change your um, heating system from oil to the uh, thermal heat it doesn't change your life at yes. all <laughs> it's yeah. even cheaper so yeah. it's better yeah. or if you um, have a uh, e-car instead of the, yes. the using the uh, benzene or, yeah. or it does yeah. change your life even it's easier because it's not so much noise <laughs> inside the car yeah. and so there's a lot of things that really don't change yeah. your everyday life it's even make it better yeah. so i think that's the big thing we need to understand when we are when we are getting rid of the fossil fuels and this our system which is built on the, the fossil yes. fuels yep. it, it doesn't it's not so big change in your everyday life yes. and and the change can be even better and you're yes. having a healthier life yeah yeah i think that's really important so it's you can tell people you must do this and the, mm. you know the world is going to end yeah. and and our grandchildren won't have yeah. forests or you can say to them, actually, this will be cheaper and better yeah. and it's not too difficult for you yeah. to do. So about always stressing the positives and, um, and helping people to do yeah. the right thing, which I think is really interesting. So my embassy here has adopted the Finnish target of being climate neutral by 2035, mm. which is ahead of the, yeah. the British yeah. target, which is quite ambitious. And uh, we are really looking at ways that we can, can reduce our carbon footprint yeah. and be greener and more sustainable um we have a green committee which is mm. fantastic yeah. to uh to to help with all those ideas and i'm always struck there are always new ideas yeah, yeah. this is not something that you do and then it's yeah yeah then it's gone. and then it's yeah. finished yeah, yeah yeah but uh, do you have any suggestions or any tips from your own ministry about things that that you know that my embassy could be doing maybe um, well, first I must say that that sounds great. And that, that's <laughs> something you. like like I told that when we had this target, we noticed that all the other, like the municipalities, mm -hmm. different uh, um, uh, enterprises, different NGOs, different whatever, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the churches, they said, yes. okay, we want to go for that as yeah. well. And now the British, <laughs> now the British <laughs> embassy is doing the same, it. So. We like a bit of competition, so <laughs> yeah. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, so yeah. that's great. But... Um, uh, yeah, well, also in, in our ministry, we have been uh, looking at what what we are doing mm -hmm. uh, and how we can yeah. uh, um, reduce our emissions. And I think there is a lot of question about, about um, 
the transport yes. and, and of course now during this COVID time we yes. have kind of learned that we don't need to go we don't to every need to meeting go to, yes. personally. Yeah. We, can, we, can, we can have this um, virtual system and, and use Work them. is what you do, not where you go, is yeah. it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. of course the, the uh, food is, is a big question, yep. what kind of uh, mm -hmm. um, food you are having and what kind of... Um, so not using so much uh, meat, yes. uh, instead using the fish and, and yes. vegetables and, and things yep. like that. And then the question of energy, of course, the source of the energy, mm -hmm. but also use of the energy. Yes. That's how you can find these ways, yes. ways to um, reduce the, the use of the energy. Mm -hmm. So, but I think you, maybe you have all of these already. No, 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 know, we're, still, on your list. we're still learning. And of course, embassies always have a problem with uh, there's never enough money to yeah. So even if things will be cheaper, sometimes it's difficult to invest yeah. at, the, at yeah. the beginning and difficult maybe to convince London that, that yeah. you know, that we want to grow grass on the roof and that's a good idea. Yeah. So, so there are lots of things to think about. So I think I'm, I'm trying to get as many ideas as I can yeah. because there are so many very practical yeah. ideas that, uh, you know, I always carry a shopping bag now in mm. my bag, so I don't need a plastic yeah. one. And uh, I feel very good about that, but I think I shouldn't feel good about it. That should just be... That yeah, should just be normal, yeah, yeah. but uh, I don't want people to feel that they are punished for mm. for not doing enough. I think yeah. I really believe that we should be offering incentives and making it yeah. easier and easier yeah. for that. Are you able to predict the future? You told me you were optimistic, but some what, days, some days. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You did say some days. Do you think? What do you think will be the next big? thing that happens that moves us all forwards will it be a positive step or will it be something that frightens us we have noticed that if we look at for example this energy sector or if we look at the transport sector uh, things are moving faster than mm -hmm. we thought mm -hmm. so um, that of course um, uh, like gives uh, me uh, optimism optimism and um, I think, like, of course, the, the technology is part of the solution as well. And as we know that uh, in technology solution, it often goes it that at first it goes slow and slow and slow, and then, and then suddenly something happens, yes. very, which is very fast. Yeah. And that's that's uh, has been now um, happening. For example, this renewable energy solutions mm -hmm. that we really and for, if you, for example, the the um, um, this, uh, how do you call this, these panels uh, for the uh, solar, oh, solar, panels. solar panels. Solar panels, I mean, yes. the price of the solar panels has really gone yes. uh, get down and they, they, they are more efficient than they used to be. Yep. And now the people, Even in Finland, you even can in generate Finland, solar, yes. solar energy. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and, and people are, are really uh, having these more and more. And, and, and so, so things are happening uh, and I'm, I'm happy for that. But of course, at the same time, we like last summer, we also saw that what we, we um, saw what can happen, this kind of uh, con uh, consequences of the climate crisis so in Germany, for example, yes. I mean, all these disasters, I mean, yep. also that kind of things can happen because we know this, um, this natural system, there can be this tipping point somewhere. Yes. And if we are going beyond that, it's something can happen very fast. Yes. So in it is kind of also, I mean, we are running against the time and yeah. we really That's need true. to reduce the emissions so so we can avoid to, to um, uh, that those tipping points are, yep. are, are there. So. Yes, That's a very good point, actually. So we need to stop the stop the disasters happening. Mm before they happen because that's yeah. cheaper and easier yeah. and safer than yeah. cleaning them up afterwards. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. what is also promising is that now I think the, um, the money has noticed that because now the invest goes to the clean solutions and, and, and really, really uh, we know that <laughs> the money can make a difference. Yes. In, yep. in many so if ways. all of this so, is good yeah. business, yeah. Then, then the money will follow. Yeah which is also part of making it more attractive, making yeah. it easier for people yeah. to do things. So, so no, I think that's really interesting. And, and you know, climate finance is a huge issue for us mm. well, and a, a huge subject at COP as well is yeah. to, uh, oh, to, yes. yeah. to absolutely to make sure that, yeah. that 
because we can do little things on the micro level ourselves Ooh. but you need really big yeah. money for, yeah. the, for yeah. the really big problems yeah yeah so. and yeah and this finance uh finance question is also the question of uh I mean, the global question of the fairness, that yes. how we, the rich exactly. countries, uh, can help those countries which are more vulnerable. And actually, it is, they are seeing the impacts of the climate yes. crisis there in the Africa yes. even, even harder and, and, and faster yes. than, than we here. So maybe this is a moment that is bringing the world together in a, in a good way, because mm. I think people often have felt that fairness means I need something else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm not worried about you. I, yeah. It would be fair if I had more. Yeah. And maybe we're now starting to look differently yeah. and think differently. And maybe governments are starting to think differently about responsibilities and, uh, mm. and COVID perhaps has been part of that as well. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, so, yeah I, I really hope so. And also this uh, question of the biodiversity. I'm very happy that that's also yes. very strongly on the table because I remember when I was studying um, for the uh, uh, studying biology, uh, I studied in Yonsu University, mm -hmm. and we had at the same building there's also also this forestry uh, student, yes. students students, yes. and we we were fighting with them <laughs> all the time <laughs> because uh, we are uh, as a as a biologist, we, we were talking about this biodiversity and, and, and things like that. And they just uh, look at the forest as a source of the money. Yes. And, yeah. and then uh, in the 90s, there was a big uh, discussion, and also in, in national level, that uh, when we are having, uh, uh, managing our forest, how we can we need to take care of the biodiversity as well. And there was such change in this uh, management uh, ways. Yeah. And, and there was a, lot, a big discussion about the, uh, the biodiversity in the forest. And now we have the same discussion yeah, going yes. on. And yeah. I was just, hey, I thought that I had this. <laughs> I've, I've been here. I've been, this yes. discussion yes. like <laughs> 30 years ago. How come this is again here on the table? Yes. But of course, yeah. now it's stable in, in everyone's table. And it's yeah. not only the question of the biologists yeah. and the, the forest, <laughs> forest uh, trees. Right. It's, it's a question of... of Everybody. everybody. That's, that's very yeah. good. <laughs> and I think sometimes you do have to have the same discussion yes. several times, yeah. maybe over many years or decades yeah. before yeah. eventually yeah, exactly. something happens and you move forward a little bit. So, yeah. And then you have to have the next discussion several yeah. times. Yeah. And, yeah. and so it keeps going. Yeah. So and there, of course, there's now some new uh, coming on the table as well. Now it's not only the forest and biodiversity, it's the forest, biodiversity and the climate. And the climate, yeah. yes. Yep. And um, I think I'm learning slowly how all of these fit together mm. and, and how they all impact on one another yeah. as well. So, yeah, huge, huge subjects. So I've, I've been asking the people I'm talking to to uh, teach me some Finnish words. So um, I'm getting quite good at trees. Mm -hmm. Climate <laughs> change, ilman mutos, is that Ilmaston right? Ilmaston mutos. Ilmaston mutos. Yes. OK. Yeah, we're not changing them. Yeah. Um, what other words should I know? Um, sustainability, mm -hmm. I just learnt Kestavus. Yes. Um, biodiversity, I learnt and I've forgotten. Yeah, it's it's monimuotoisuus. Monimuotoisuus is, yeah. is diversity, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, biodiversity, yeah. what's the bio bit? Then we say luonnon monimuotoisuus. Luonnon monimuotoisuus. I'm mm. sure I've already yeah. learned that and <laughs> it's gone. Luonto is nature. Yes. And luonnon is, is the genitive yeah, of nature. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a theoretical linguist. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Luonnon monimuotoisuus. Yes, great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's my longest word, yeah. I think, of, uh, of, of this week. Fantastic. And the other one I remembered when you were talking that I don't know is what is a solar panel in? In Finnish, aurinko paneeli. Aurinko paneeli. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. easy. Yeah. <laughs> I can remember yeah. that one. Okay, thank you so much, Minister. Thank you for coming to the forest today and for yeah. talking to me. Really interesting conversation, yeah. and I hope we can continue it another time. Oh yes, it was a great pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.